On Whirlpool presents ESPN Cricket for T20 Time Out, powered by Dell. We're looking ahead to the first qualifier, Mumbai Indians versus Delhi Capitals. Joining me shortly, Ajit Agarkar and Deep Das Gupta. Right, gentlemen, the first playoff, the two best teams of the league phase, as per the points table at least. Let's go to our first statement. We're saying deep that Delhi Capitals should look to chase against Mumbai. Your thoughts? Uh, well, yeah, that makes sense because a lot of teams are chasing down totals, uh, especially with Dew and all that coming in uh, effect. And especially because this game's in Dubai, uh, there is definitely more Dew in Dubai, Dubai as compared to uh, Abu Dhabi. So, yeah, definitely chase it down. And they've done all right chasing down totals as well, Delhi themselves. Mm. Uh, so, why not? Ajit, it's probably likely that whichever captain wins the toss would chase. But for Delhi in particular, is that their greater strength? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, look, la- last game they chased down, but wasn't a big total. So, it kind of worked for them uh, against RCB. And Rahane could bat or take his time a little bit, although it was a lovely innings. Uh, could take his time a little bit and Shikhar still got form. But I think that's, that seems to be the best way for them to try and beat Mumbai. Not to say that they can't win biting first, but I think that that might be the better option for them, the way they've been playing. Deep? I think the uh, other aspect to this is also Shreyas and Rishabh and the way they've approached their innings this season. Uh, especially Rishabh. He's going at, what, 120 or something. I think when you're chasing down total, at least you know what you're chasing down. So you can... Uh, change or or uh, tailor your approach accordingly. All right, let's go to our next statement. Ajit, we're saying Prithvi Shaw should take his time. He should, and uh, he was in the last game against RCB. He looked good. He, he played a couple of cricketing shots, as in just orthodox batting. Uh, he's he's been guilty of trying to smash uh, too early in the innings, but he looked good. He just got a snorter from Siraj in that game. So you don't you then you you kind of understand you don't hold that against the batsman as long as uh, you've gotten out to a to a good ball, but he should take his time anyway. The way this tournament's gone for him, there is there is been a shot too soon uh, at times. He's far too good a player to just play normally and still score very quickly. So, uh, short selection could be key to him getting some success. Deep, yeah, risk management. I mean, manage the. I mean, he's been taking too many risks, and as Ajit mentioned, I mean, we were looking at his dismissals. They're like more like slogging uh, the way he got out. Uh, Quite a few times this season. So, yeah, I mean, just manage your risk, take a calculated risk and try and be as orthodox as possible because he is a proper all-format opener. He's not just a T20 opener. He's an all-format opener. Uh, and, you know, he has all the shots in the book. So, yeah, just be instinctive, but be, uh, I mean, be a little more careful. Let's go to our next statement. We're saying, Deep, that Sandeep Lamichan and Harshal Patel should come in for Ashwin and Daniel Sams if... Arashwin is not fit. Yeah, that's that's a that's a fairly good call. Uh, but again, for someone like uh, Lamichan, I know, I mean, he's, he's a super bowler. But just to come straight away and play a big game could be a tall ask. Uh, even though the Dubai surfaces have slowed down, it's become a little more sluggish now. Uh, yeah, I mean, big ground and all that will definitely help his cause. Definitely a good option if uh, Ashwin is not fit. Obviously, give them the option of a risk spinner. They also have... Uh, you know, Praveen Dubey there. Uh, unfortunately, the, the f- only game that he's got didn't have much to do. I mean, they were, what, defending 120 or whatever. Yeah, that's the call, whether you replace a spinner, the only Indian spinner in Praveen Dubey, Ajit, or you make a couple of changes. You would ideally want two spinners anyway in your team. Uh, whether you go the Indian way or or get uh, Lamichani, that's, that's a call for them. That's a little bit of a tricky call. Uh, but I'd, I'd still look at Lamichani more than... More, I, I don't know whether they'll do it because he's, like Deep said, you know, he's not played at all and could be a big ask to come in. Uh, but if they've seen something good in the nets, that that, that could be an aggressive call uh, that they could make. Because we yeah. haven't seen anything, or oh, he's not been that impressive stamps in the limited opportunities that he's had. Yeah, so that's the thing. Even if Ashwin is played, would you look at that Daniel Sam's position? Would you try and bring in Lamichane even if he's not played? Ajit and then Deep? Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Then you don't want to uh, mess around too much with your combination. If Ashwin is fit, then then you still have two spinners uh, and you'd want that extra seam, seam option. Especially if the ball does get wet. Uh, it's better to have an extra seam option. Alright. Our next statement is that Kagisha Rabara should take the new ball. Ajit. 
anyone who's going to like or oh, is likely to get your wicket and although we did the game last time and there was a stat that rabada had not got wicket in the power play but that could be to do with the way he's bowled you know perhaps he's bowled a little bit short and uh, tried to stop runs more than uh, bowled the attacking length but uh, but you, he's still your best bowler you may as well give him the first crack uh, and against that strong mumbai batting you need to get wickets and you keep getting wickets uh, that's the only way you'll be able to stop them Yeah, it's a hard one to try and figure out. The Brabada not getting wickets in the power play. It's that last one in the game against yeah. Bangalore was first. And it it was surprising. So I checked out uh, his pitch map and beehive, his power play overs, and only ten percent of those deliveries were hitting the stumps. So straight away you take the bold and leg before out of the equation. So I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm obviously surprised that he did not pick uh, wickets before the last game in the power play. But but when I looked at that 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 uh, uh, Hawkeye and and beehive and all that. it just told me why he hasn't it's not because he's not bowling well it's just that maybe the lengths are too short and and also from a captaincy perspective I haven't really seen him bowl with a slip so if you if you're not going to hit the stumps so leg before bowl is out you don't have slip so that outside edge is also is is kind of part of the equation uh so yeah i mean i i think it's his bowling defensive lines uh, in the first six which he needs to change and obviously he's a wicket taker so yeah uh, just put him right up there All right, and finally, the perhaps the only selection call that Mumbai need to take deep. We're saying Pattinson over Cool tonight. Your thoughts? Yes, I'd I'd go with that. I'd go with that. I'd I'd just pick the first team that they played. Uh, not the not the first. I think the third uh, game that they What? played. And you said Mumbai. Yeah. Hardik in there if he's fit. That is Hardik in there. Pattinson in there. Uh, and uh, uh, Ishan Kishan uh, in there as well at four. So yeah, that I mean uh, that would be my playing eleven for them. Pattinson, in my opinion, just provides you a little bit more uh, of wicket-taking option than uh, than Coulton Isle has uh, shown so far. Uh, just feel that uh, on his day, Pattinson can get you some key wickets, and that could be crucial in this game. All right, thank you very much, Ajit Agarwal and Deep Das Gupta. That wraps up our preview for qualifier number one between Mumbai and Delhi on Whirlpool Presents ESPN Cricket for T20 Time Out, powered by Delhi.